Hi everyone and welcome. I would like to uh, do some more stuff with this uh, clock which I took apart and I was just trying to figure out how to do what to do. I tried to um, fix the one that was broke which is this one uh, with this where's it gone with this circuitry as you know and what I did I'm going to show you some pictures because I didn't have my camera with me so some pictures which I tried to do is unwind this and rewind it Hi everyone, I'm videoing this on my phone because uh, my camera is not working at the moment. So, quick, quick video. I've I've uh, rewinding this coil from the quartz clock. Basically, I had to unwind it all, find out why it wasn't working. I'm putting this back on. Hopefully, that I could make the solenoid work again. But this is what I'm doing here. It's a bit flimsy in there, as you can see. I just temporarily hooked it up. I have got a few uh, steel frames there to show you that I took it, took it apart. So I'll get back to you soon as soon as my camera is fixed. Thank you for watching. I had to do it three or four times because the wire kept breaking and all kinds of things. And then I made a stupid mistake of actually pulling the bottom wire through here, through here, to the other side. So therefore in the middle, in the middle there's a, a wire going across so I can't really use this but I'm glad I did it because what's going to happen is that I, I want to unwind it again anyway and put it onto a smaller reel but maybe a round one and try and make a solenoid engine out of that so that's that's where I am with this one but that took me a lot of time but then I, I thought of using the other clock which was working and I took it apart and what I wanted to do with this one is basically I had remember this clip that goes into the uh, into the coil and then in the middle is that sits the armature and the and then it ticks slowly turns around. I want to use that try and try and work that with an outside source of um, flasher flasher unit which is the old one that I've got here and I tried to do it this one but it didn't sit properly the armature didn't sit down properly again and it didn't work maybe that's for a future project which I will which I will try to do with another clock which I'll take apart but then I thought okay so I have to put leads on this one very carefully because the wire is very very thin and it's very hard to do that so I actually finally might uh, sorry finally got to do it and these leads are nice and proper and tight on here so this actually works. So what I did then, I cut the the, um, the stator part of this in half, as you can see, the other half is somewhere in here. The other half is here, which I've cut in half. And I've got a small magnet here. This is a small magnet here to energize this, this coil. And what I've done is I've put this through here like this. And when I put the, the voltage on here, as you can see, it works. Can you see that? So that works nicely there. And I'm thinking whether I could make a solenoid engine out of this one because this works on 1.5, but when I put 1.5 volts on here, it wasn't as powerful as it's supposed to be. So I'm actually at, at this moment putting six volts through it. And I think it'll be okay to work on six volts for a while because it's not gonna be on constantly. Uh, not going to be on for a long time anyway. So if I put 6 volts, you can hear it look, I don't know if you can hear that, it's pretty powerful going in. And the reason I put a magnet on here, because it pulls it, uh, magnetizes this and pulls it in nicely indeed. So that's what I intend to do with this call. I want to see how small I can make it. And uh, so we'll just call this one a uh, solenoid coil out of a clock. So that's, that actually works nicely indeed. I'm very happy with this. I'm not sure how to, to make it into an engine, but there we go. So guys, if you remember, I made a paper clip engine many moons ago, and uh, I thought if I just temporarily hook up this solenoid 
to this engine to make sure it all works nicely and so then we can proceed with making a proper engine with this one because I want to make it smaller than this this is too big for me I want to make a small engine I want to see how small I can actually go so we'll start with this one and then we'll move forward to a, a different one okay guys just to show you a quick rough setup here the cardboard and this is uh, the old paper clip engine one of one of them anyway and I put the coil on here and this is this is one of the um, backs of the clock itself so I've set this up like this and this should be the the uh, lead that goes and touches touches the coil the, uh, the what you call it the rotor here which will make it go switch on and off. So I'm going to set it up now and see it running. Okay guys, so I've done a temporary setup here. I had to redo this and uh, because this was touching, I forgot my own rules concerning that and I had to uh, clean these bits up a bit because they've gone rusty. So what I've done is instead of having it automatically doing, I'll just put it onto my lead here. I'm just going to hold it on while uh, we video this. It is working now. There you go guys, so it's working nicely. You have to get this into the right position. Um, so we'll call this one a success. We can see that we can use this coil as a solenoid engine from a quartz clock. Well obviously we need to put a larger voltage in here. Like I said, this is a temporary setup, but it works lovely. I'm pleased with this project. We'll call this one success. And please subscribe, thumbs up, make a comment. I'm hoping to put this on a smaller scale, on a probably a bottle top or something, a large bottle top. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you.